Okay, we've got ourselves a draft. Uh, the best cards in the pack are Messenger Drake and Briarpack Alpha. Um, oh, and Entrange Condor. There's also a Magnetic, Megantic Sliver, but I think Briarpack Alpha is better than Megantic Sliver, isn't it? It's certainly the sliver to take if you want to go sliver. Since there's no one here, I'm just going to take the Briarback Alpha. Uh, there's a Rootwalla, an Ophelia Seaskite, a Charging Griffin. Uh, I'm just going to stick with green and take the Rootwalla. Uh, one pack, the rare was taken, there's no way to know. Oop, and I took the Charging Griffin. Half a ticket, there's a shock, a spore mound, a blood barn, shock. Elvish Mystic, Master of Diversion. Frost Breath. This pack has nothing but rumbling, Baylos. Another elvish mystic. Ooh, what? An opportunity. Man, I wish somebody was here to tell me what to take. You should probably join my stream at Anomalous Zero if you're watching this in replay. So it's the same as this name right here. A N O M. U L U S zero at Twitch TV. What's better, Elvish Mystic or Opportunity? If I'm blue green, I don't know. I think I'd want an Opportunity, and then if I'm blue green, I want a Trained Condor. I like me. Elvish Mystic is awesome, but Opportunity is draw four cards. Uh, yes. So. That is a late train condor. Is that better than an Advocate of the Beast? I have no idea. Person that just joined, what do you think if you're quick? And I'm gonna go with the train condor. All of these are terrible. Not taking Glade Clover Scout. So hate the show of valor. Need some twos. Definitely need some twos. Um, 
not playing Tome Score. I'm not playing Glimpse the Future. I'm not going to play either of these cards, but I think Barrage of Expendables is the best against me. Um, Zephyr Charge or Rod of Ruin? I already have two trained condors to jump my dudes, so let's just try the Rod of Ruin for the sideboard. Uh, Sanguine Bond is a terrible card. I will take Coral Merfolk. Welcome the third person, or the second person, to join the stream. You have the chat function enabled. Just send a shout out. Oh, just missing the dream table. We will see if we can combo that with stuff. If we get enough, maybe I'll go deep. I don't think it's a good thing to do, though. Another target. Ooh, last pick naturalized for the sideboard. Yes. Another target creature you control. Alright, so that doesn't combo. Ooh, scavenging ooze? Is that worth anything? Oh yeah, okay, so that's worth 10. So I just won the draft. I just won the draft. Uh, if the scavenging ooze wasn't here... Is Briar... Yeah, I think Briar Pack Alpha is just better than scavenging ooze. And then scavenging ooze is better than everything else in the pack. I th I'd, I'd take scavenging ooze over shock or time ebb. Uh, but I'm just going to take the 10 tickets and play a decent card. Sad I don't have another Briar Pack Alpha, but I'm not complaining. It means I get to do another draft. Uh, this shock should be a uh, the three mana enchantment that taps things. Hmm, this is an interesting pack. I don't think I want the Elvish Mystic. I don't think I want the Advocate of the Beast. I think it's between Vastwood Hydra and the Tusker. And I believe I just want the Tusker. I mean, I'm not saying the Vastwood Hydra is a bad card, but a 3-3 for 2 is pretty good. Oh, somebody left. Boo. Ah, uh, Bramble Crush, Illusionary Armor. Fire Shrieker, Coral Merfolk, Seacoast Drake, Essence Scatter. I'm not sure this is a very good Essence Scatter deck. Nor is it very. Or, nor is Coral Merfolk a very good card. Do I want. Do I just want Essence Scatter for the late game? Mm -hmm -hmm. How many creatures do I have? I have one, two, some pretty good on creatures. Uh, and, the, and like the Merfolk my table. I could take a Seacoast to Drake, but I'm not a big fan of that. I think I'll just take an S. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, so there's a Divination, a Plummet, and a Rumbling Baloth. Uh, I th Hopefully the Plummet comes back because it's a very good sideboard card, but I want a 4 4 for 4. Uh, interesting. Wow, I wish these were, like, spread out more. Um, there is a Trained Condor, an Advocate of the Beast, and a Root Walla. 
Advocate of the Beast combos very well with things like our uh, Coloni Tusker and our Rumbling Bayloths. So I'm not sure if it's better than Root Walla if I was going to take a green card. Um, Train Condor is also very good. I think it's just Root Walla. Could be wrong about that though. I think it's the more aggressive card. Uh Oh, Lay of the Land. We might need it. It's not a bad card. It's not great, but it's not bad. Quicken isn't worth anything. Bramble Frush is just a bad naturalize. I guess it kills Planeswalkers, but... That is not a good reason to take it. Wow, there is a lot of black here. But I will just take a Windstorm for the sideboard. I should have one extra root walla, but I misclicked, and I took a charging griffin instead. Elite Arcanist is unplayable. Do not play it. Well, it's not unplayable, but it's very bad. I'm going to take a time ebb. Uh, hmm. Plummet or sensory deprivation? That is an interesting choice. I think it's the plummet, but I could be wrong. Like, the problem I'm gonna have to deal with is like 4 4 flyers or bomb flyers, so I believe the plummet is better. Ooh, Advocate of the Beast? Yes, please. Uh, Undead Minotaur is the best card in the pack, probably, but I'll take a Coral, Coral Merfolk just in case I have to play it. I will take a Zephyr Charge just in case. Shrivel. Seismic Stomp, probably not playing it. Maybe I'll slide it in. Okay, in this pack there was a clone and a troll hide, a claustrophobia and a shock. Clone isn't particularly good with any of my creatures. It's a pretty good card in general though. I'm wondering if it's better than claustrophobia. It's probably better than troll hide. Let's see, it's pretty good on a rumbling Bayloth. Yeah, it's really bad, but I can copy my opponent's creatures. I don't know, let's go deep. Let's go deep with a clone. Darksteel Forge isn't worth anything. Um, That Tuskers is going to be really hard to cast, but I don't think I can pass a Claustrophobia. Path of Bravery probably isn't worth anything. Indeed it is not. I will take the giant growth because I don't want to ever play a Brindle Boar. What do we have here? We have nothing. Apparently we are just getting cut like crazy. I'm not gonna play a ground shaker sliver, so let's just cut this death gaze crocodrus. What is this nonsense? What is this nonsense? I uh, will just take a naturalize with the sideboard. Okay. Here we got a playable. There's a scroll thief or an advocate of the beast. 
Like the advocate. Ooh, another opportunity? Okay. <laughs> Alright, that makes up that makes up for the rest of the back. We're not playing that. Could still use another playable or two. <sighs> Why is red open all of a sudden? I honestly don't want to play a second lay of the land. But I might have to. I what is going on? I guess passing that Megantic Sliver first pick really screwed me over because everybody's or, I don't know, that isn't why would the people to my right care about of that? Uh Bog is not a very good card. Shimmering Grotto I won't play. I'll take the fog for the sideboard. There's just nothing on the wheel I can get. So this is my deck apparently. It's pretty bad. Doesn't matter I have a scavenger goose, but... Um, hmm. Dark Steel Forge, Festering Newt, Ranger's Guile. Dark Steel Forge is a mythic. I would never be playing it. But is it going to be better than a Ranger's Guile? No, I think I wouldn't cut like one of the Lay of the Lands. Play a Ranger's Guile. Coagulant monkey. Oh, well, I'll take the path of bravery here. Uh, ring flash. I guess I'm one of the uncommons that I'm never going to play. Got one apostle. Land. So this deck is not so great. Whenever one more creatures you control attacks. I don't think it's worth splashing for Path of Bravery. Missing anything? Shock. Do to do to do. Um. Sixteen lands, splash for shock, one red, two lay of the land, probably nine, six, one? No, that's, that's not sixteen at all. That's not how the numbers one to sixteen work. I could play a plummet instead of a shock, I don't know if that's good, I don't think so.
six one. Plus two lay of the land, so as long as I draw a forest. Maybe ten five one. I think 961 will work. We got some pretty good sideboard cards here. Not this. Hello, new, new person just waiting for the rounds to start. Hey, I don't have an elixir this time. See? No elixir. Open to scavenging ooze, though. So, you know, I can just do another draft because this is worth 10. Indeed. Unless I lose all the rounds and then it's just neutral.
I don't know. What would you take first pick, first pack? Briar Pack Alpha or Megantic Sliver? I took the Alpha.